Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Saturday, June 30th, 2018. It is freaking hot. <laughs> um, gorgeous, gorgeous day though. I mean, but uh, we're in the low 90s up here today. So uh, Heather actually has uh, Kendall up for the weekend, and we haven't had Kendall up here in almost a year. You know, because she's busy with her life now, and she's working and and everything else. So, uh, but uh, so we're just uh, we did a low key day, went swimming, went and got ice cream, doing that type of stuff. So I wanted to jump into today's video real quick and uh, talk about the title of this. Do we need to be worried about AI? Um, you know, artificial intelligence. You know. I look at the technology that we have now and compare it to when I was a kid and uh, it is absolutely amazing how far we've come from, I mean, when I was a kid, you know, we didn't have smartphones, we didn't have phones, period. We didn't have, uh, it started out with uh, pagers is what it started out with and then, you know, certain people had the phones but they were like these big huge bulky things. And now you got these small little phones that uh, weigh nothing, that can do everything. Uh, we didn't have the internet. We didn't have computers. You know, uh, just the technology like with cars and everything else and uh, the, the way that uh, the advances in medical and stuff like that. None of those things were really like they are now. And just even if you want to just go with the last 40 years, okay, uh, you know, it is absolutely amazing to me where we are now and I look at where are we going to be in the future and uh, you know now they're making robotics um, you know that uh, can basically have a conversation with you and um, I know that one of the things that they're making now where there's like the, the big thing is sex dolls that uh, can actually interact and, and uh, they're doing those type of things as well so you know it, it's, it's absolutely crazy looking at it the way that things are now is compared to, like I said, even if you want to go 40 years ago, uh, you know, it's just, it is absolutely amazing. I mean, we had telephones that were on the wall or it was on your table and uh, had a wire attached to the wall. And uh, if you wanted to, you know, if the phone rang, you had to get up and go answer to find out who was calling, you know. And uh, now you just look at your phone and, oh, that's probably a telemarketer, so you ignore the call. Or it's whoever it is in your friends group and stuff like that, you know. I mean, when we were growing up, you had to memorize numbers when you called people. I mean, now everything is programmed in so you don't know anybody's number. You don't even have to think about it anymore. So should we be worried about artificial intelligence? Let's talk about that for a second. What happens when the machines become smarter than us? When What happens if the machines become self-aware? I mean, I know that it's all Hollywood and people want to say, oh my God, you know, Terminator and everything else. But the reality is, uh, what if the machines become self-aware and realize that the greatest threat to them is human beings? What happens? I mean, that's, you know, it, it is something to think about. Uh, you know, we have, you know, these, they have, you know, the, the smart bombs that can go in and just blow up anything that they want it to blow up. And uh, it's pretty amazing. I mean, you know, pinpoint things where they have the bunker buster bombs where I don't care how far deep you are, they'll go bury underground and, and blow everything up underneath there. I mean, it is, it is amazing. You know, look at drones. We didn't have drones. We didn't have, like, you know, the little cameras and you fly it around and you can see everything. You know, so there's a lot of stuff going on um, right now. You know, there's uh, advanced facial recognition software out there you know so that if somebody's on a wanted list or or whatever or if they see you they can recognize who you are they may you know it's it, it's just like okay, here's a great example of something that's like modern technology that kind of trips me out so if I go online and I'm looking up a product that I want to, that I'm thinking about purchasing so let's say uh, let's let's go with log splitters so I do a little research on my laptop and I'm looking for log splitters well the next thing you know if I'm on my Facebook account, there's an ad for log splitters. You know, so I mean, it's like everything that you're doing, everything that's that's happening, is being tracked with the technology. So you know, 
realistically, if you want to really be completely so that they don't know anything, you don't have a Facebook account. You don't have any kind of social media at all. You don't have uh, a phone. You know, you're not connected to the grid in any way, shape, or form. That's the only way to get away from it. But even then, um, you know, there's still ways that they can track you. Like I said, facial recognition. Uh, you know, you walk into that store and they pinpoint on you and they know exactly who you are. They can pull up your record and see, is this person a criminal or is this somebody we got to watch or is this somebody we don't have to worry about? I mean, think about the convenience of that if you're a store. I mean, the amount of shoplifting that goes on and you have certain groups of people that, uh, you know, that's what they do. They go in and they shoplift to get the, the stolen property so they can buy drugs or whatever, you know what I mean? Uh, you see this stuff on cops all the time and you got certain groups of people that that's what they do. And, uh, you know, so it, a lot of it is heroin users and stuff like that, that, that a lot of it that really do a lot of that shoplifting. But they have professional shoplifting rings. So once they can identify who the trouble people are and they see that and it can be identified as soon as you walk into that store, they can go up there and they can get those people right away. But is that invasion of privacy? You know, it, it, it's hard to say, you know what I mean? But uh, it's crazy. I mean, the, the technology now is absolutely crazy. You know, where, I mean, you look at look at our, uh, our licenses, you know, um, the license have changed so much. I mean, you can get the chip in your license so that you don't even have to get a passport it's like a basically a form of a passport they scan it and it's got all your information on there so it's just it, it's just it's crazy when you think about it where we are now compared to 40 years ago let's compare it what where we're going to be at in the next 40 years what's it going to be like then and uh that's pretty wild i mean it's very very crazy the uh the technology and like i said it's like as they continue to make these robots that can interact with people what happens if they become self-aware? Do we have something to worry about there? I definitely want your feedback on this because I think this is a very interesting topic, um, especially for you guys that are like my age. I mean, I'm 53 years old or a little bit older. That We didn't grow up with all this stuff. I mean, you know, when we wanted to change the channel when I was a kid, we actually had to get up off the couch and go change it. And we had, like I said, we had three or four channels to choose from. We had 8, 10, 13, um, channel 21, and then uh, once channel 31 came on, that was like, oh my God, we got another channel, you know? I mean, it was just, so we had literally five channels to choose from growing up. Now you go on, if you have, you know, uh, cable, you have 300 channels to choose from, uh, you know? Or like in our case, uh, we have Netflix, okay? So I can go in there and I can watch anything I want to watch with no commercials, which is absolutely awesome, whenever I feel like watching it you know so you might have to wait a while to get this next season into the into the uh to, to to netflix but it's there and you can watch it at your own pleasure so th that's something that's wild you know i mean there's just so many things guys um like i said with the technology today it is absolutely crazy and uh you know we just didn't have it when i was growing up so i wonder like for my kids that have grown up in this technology generation where the everything ever the only thing they ever remember is that we've had had a computer my kids have never lived in a world where there wasn't a computer so you know it, that's pretty freaking crazy if you think about it i mean they utilize laptops for school i mean my daughter gets issued a laptop every year from the school they do a lot of work from their laptops and uh, you know if they need to communicate with the teacher if they have a question they can send them an email so there's another another way of communication has definitely changed you know I mean back in the day you want to contact with somebody across the country you had to send them a letter stick it in the mail wait three or four days for them to get it and then you know then they, if they wanted to write you back they would write you back or whatever you know now it's instantaneous I, I want to email uh, send somebody a message that lives in Oregon I would shoot them an email they get it almost instantaneously, and they can write me back within minutes, you know? I mean, think about that. And, uh, hello, Miss Soxy. Yes, how are you, sweetheart? But, uh, things have advanced amazingly just in my lifetime. And in my kids' lifetime, I, I can't even imagine what it's going to be like 40 years from now. I'd love to be able to be around to see it. I'd be pretty old in 40 years. But, uh, I think it would be very, very interesting. But uh, I definitely want your guys' feedback on this. I want to hear what you guys have to say. I want to hear what you think. 
of artificial intelligence, number one, the modern technology, how things have advanced so much, and uh, what do you think about all that? I, I definitely, like I said, I definitely would love to hear your feedback on that and hear your thoughts on that. Um, I want to talk real quick today. We've already pulled in like 4.8 kilowatt hours today, uh, and it's probably about 4 o'clock in the afternoon right now. It's funny, we had gone swimming, and uh, we went and got ice cream, and then we came back, and I like freaking crashed out, and I said, well, I'll get up and see what the kids are doing. They're both sound asleep, so it's pretty funny. So, um, but here's the garden. The garden is doing awesome. Uh, I'll show you. I'm going to kick around here on the back side so you can see real quick. We have, let's see, let me kick over here so you can see. We got the squashes all growing here. It's really coming along well. The potatoes are doing great. Uh, got squash all over the place there. Uh, the zucchinis over here, and they are doing very, very well. Everything's doing fantastic, to be honest with you. And uh, but uh, garden is doing really, really well. I do need to get back out here again and do a little more weeding, but that happens. So anyway, guys, listen. Um, I'm going to jump off of here. Now let's go real quick. I want to talk about uh, definitely stirred the pot yesterday's video, huh? <laughs> uh, people have strong opinions, and that's okay. You know, we all have the right to our own opinions, but uh, you know, people want to twist things up. What I was saying, whatever. I don't. I don't really care. It's uh, you can think think whatever way you would like to. That is your right. But um, anyhow, uh, remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And uh, that's just, uh, that's real, real important. And I don't think a lot of people think about that. And remember, it's STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself, okay? And uh, that's it. There's nobody else that can stop you. So I hope everybody's having a great weekend. Last day of June, which is crazy. We're going to be in July here starting tomorrow and uh, amazing how fast time goes so anyway guys listen i will talk to you all later have a great day prepper nurse one out for now